Today, Mayor Curry's office released the video recorded last week to update you on efforts to reduce crime. Addressing and reducing violent crime is one of my top priorities. It has been ever since I came into office. 49 people have been murdered in Jacksonville this year, and there are dozens of unsolved cases. Now, one mother has been waiting 22 months to learn who killed her son. This is a hard journey. I wouldn't wish this on no one. As Action News Jack's Brittany Donovan reports, the city says cure violence workers will hit the streets soon to stop the violence. Rolanda Bray stood with her 18 year old son, a big smile on her face. That was my baby. That was my baby. Still is. My TD. That's what I call him. Tradarius Alexander was her second oldest of four boys. Her last conversation with him, July 9th, 2017, hours before he was shot and killed. It breaks my heart. That parent got to get a phone call. A uh, knock on the door. Your son's been killed. That's the worst feeling in the world. She keeps this Crime Stopper sign in her yard, hoping someone will come forward with a piece of information that could lead to murder charges. Meanwhile, this week, Mayor Curry's office is rolling out a program to treat this violence as a disease. On Sunday, the mayor's office released this video explaining Cure Violence's approach target the violence where it's happening. Very carefully selected members of the community, trusted insiders who will be able to anticipate where violence may occur so they can intervene before it happens. The program will roll out June 8th. Curry said the city's other initiative, the new Crime Gun Intelligence Center, has already linked one suspect to three separate shootings. As for Bray, she visits her son's grave every Sunday. It's like a sickness that never goes away and you feel it every day, all day. Praying more families in Jacksonville won't have to feel the same pain. Reporting in Duval County, Brittany Donovan, CBS 47, Action News Jax.